so you want to play Jane's Longbow 2 on modern PC. Okay, first go to this great tutorial by Phil on how to set up PCM. He provided all the needed links. This should take about one hour to complete. When finished, come back here. I'll wait. So you are back? I hope you set up everything correctly. Note that I selected slower CPU. Pentium 2 clocked at 233 MHz instead of 300 because my PC couldn't handle emulating 300 MHz CPU, which was evident by the sound skipping during gameplay. Okay, first things first. Before we fire up the PCM, let's set up the joystick. Choose Thrustmaster Flight Control System to emulate, and your actual device to emulate it with. With that set up correctly, we're now ready to run our retro PC. Let's open the control panel and go to Game Controllers. Now we need to add our flight stick as a control device. Select Thrust Master Flight Control System from the list. We will need to calibrate our stick. Click on Properties. Settings tab and calibrate. Follow on screen instructions. After calibration is done, you can test the stick by clicking on the test tab. You probably don't have optical drive in your PC, right? I don't, but I have portable USB 1. But still, having it connected whenever I want to play the game would be cumbersome. So instead what you can do is to make CD image files from your CDs and mount them in PCM, which is way more convenient. If your old CDs are no longer readable, you can always look for backups on Internet Archive. I will leave a link in video description. So, let's mount the first image and start installing the game. Auto run should kick in any moment. If it doesn't run, set up manually from the CD. All right, let's go through the install process.
Don't install DirectX 5 since we already have 7 installed. The game is now installed. We can try to run it now. You can enter main menu option screen by pressing Alt O. Go through the options and configure the game to your liking. Current stick does not have throttle control, you could use Flight Stick Pro which supports one, but I prefer controlling collective and tail rotor with my left hand sitting on the keyboard. We need to create a pilot first before we are able to take on any mission. APR 39, power up, self-test. APR 39, operate. Sierra 13, this is Tango 13, cleared for takeoff. As you can see it works pretty well. Since it's night, let's shoot some rockets and admire the lighting effects. Firing rockets! All right, that's wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Take care and happy flying.